We are at the Talladega Super Speedway for the 18th race of Season 2 of the SCRL ASA Series. The 43 of Oreo Centaur will be leading us to the green flag. Start beside him will be the double zero of Ding Drinker. All 33 entries. We have a very interesting point system going on right now. Well, points race going on. Noah Cars, who won the last event at Rockingham, is technically your points leader, but he is actually tied with Harrison Ponder for first. And since Cars has more top fives, he will be the points champion. Drivers, start your engines! Because Cars and Ponder have the both same amount of wins. One. So, of course, then you go to top fives. And Cars has one more than Ponder. And we have 18 drivers who mathematically can win the championship at this point. Since you can, since the maximum point you can gain in the race is 185, we have 18 drivers within that points margin can still win. But that'll get smaller because the next two events they are big ones as well as this race. Now of course Talladega, you know you can fit 42 cars on this track, but. We only have 33. I could have filled out the other spots, but I didn't really want to. So, we're just going to stick with 33. Kind of a small feel for Talladega, but what can you do? I want to get this series over with and we can get on to other ones. Which, this one has been fun. Like all series I've been. You gotta watch out for the big one. It can end your championship hopes in an instant. The driver who won this race in season one, Riley Houston Jr., is of course not with this league no more. Did not return to defend his championship, which is a, which is a shame. But yeah. Oria Centaur looking for his third win this season. He has victories at North Wilkesboro and USA Speedway. He's not really mathematically eligible for the championship anymore. He had finished dead last in the last race at North Carolina. Lost a lot of points. Even if he won the next three races, he would not be able to win the championship. Pace car is in. We're going to be racing for 19 laps. There's the starting line, and we're racing at Talladega. Or he is driving that special STP car in honor of Richard Petty. He won 200 Cup wins, the most of all time. Of course, Orius has the second most wins in this series, in this league, <clears throat> with uh, 13. Shuttle still has the most with 19. Driver's starting to fan out. Oh, do I see someone smoking? Yes, I do. Who's smoking? Oh, no. Abby Collins, third in points. Wow. She was in the middle of the pack when that was happening, and then we got the field to split up now. Oh, wow. Uh, Three-way battle for the lead. Lead the first lap will be the double zero of Ding Drinker. Wow, that was bad luck for all those drivers back there. Abby Collins, third in points. This is not what she needs. She blew up while running in the middle of the pack. I've never had that happen before. I mean, in my real league races I have, but this is, you know, YouTube, so that doesn't really count. Ding Drinker still holds the race lead. Looking for his first win in the ASA Series. Made his debut in the Truck Series and Bush Series and the Classic Series and won in his first start. The ASA Series has not been kind to Ding Drinker, though. It, well, it hasn't for a lot of people. Ding Drinker dives down low to block the low lane and keep his race lead.
This, this looks strange, but we got two packs. Because of Noah Cars blowing up. There's a second pack. Led by Noah Cars, who is our points leader. I don't know about now, though, because Robert Ponder is probably in front of him. I mean, not Robert Ponder, Harrison Ponder, excuse me. And where's Harrison? There he is. Yeah, I'd say Harrison Ponder will be your points leader right now since he's in front. We got a battle for the lead. And leading this left. Nope, Ding Drinker is still your race leader. Alright. There's the first pack. Colin Dryberg is on the high side. Trying to get uh, the lead, but it's not going to work. Low lane, Robert Ponder. Related to Harrison Ponder. Their team, their family members. Let's take the lead. All oh, those cars, but they get so close. One small tap could send you into the wall, and your championship hopes could be destroyed. Rocco Tymon is your new race leader. Tymon has one race victory this season. He won it at Atlanta. Looking for win number two in this series, I want to say. Oh, here it comes. Harrison Ponder. Oh, that is not good for. Noah Cars, Harrison Ponder just let a lap. That's high bonus points for him. Here comes the 50 of Zachary Fitzwater, who started on the pole at Rockingham. Got involved in the first caution and was a lap down the rest of the race. Finished a disappointing 24th. Oh, Orius went up into Richard Torres. Oh, wow. Four wide for the lead. Nope, three wide now. Chris Bush is now your race leader in the 59 car. Still looking for his first win as well. Yep, John Ard dives down low, making it three wide for the lead. Who's going to get it? It'll be the six of Matt Johnson, who has won a race this season. He won at Pikes Peak. Can we actually have Jesse Turner's in the race lead? Can we actually have a caution free race at, at Talladega? That would be awesome. Jesse Turner is your race leader, but not for long. The 30 of Mike Pearson wants it. So does the 99, DJ Curtis. DJ Curtis is the only member of the Curtis family who has not yet scored a win. I bet he's pretty jealous of his other family members. Speaking of which, here comes the 14 of Joseph Curtis. Joseph dives down low and will take the lead. Joseph won at uh, Dover, I believe, right? Yes. Here comes the 41 to Colin Dreiberg. He's winless as well this season. And the pack is all just one big pack. Aside from the 44 of Sebastian Torres, who's lost the draft. Not good for him. Here comes the 37 of Chris Kyle. He is winless in all of his starts in the ASA series. Sponsored by Strickland Propane. From the TV show King of the Hill. Chris Kyle dives down low. He wants to lead this lap. And Chris Kyle will get five bonus points. Here comes the 28 of Michael Cates. They're going three, four wide right now. There no cars. This is not where he wants to be. race leader. Michael Cates has one win. He won at Cataluga in uh, South Africa. Here comes the 22 of Sam Curtis. He wants, nope, not enough. Four wide for fourth. Wow. They're, they're getting so close to wrecking. Oh. Michael Cates will lead him around, and Michael Cates will get five bonus points. Here comes the 22. Sam Curtis down low again. Look at him. Three by three by three by three by four. Sam Curtis, new race leader. One at Old Spice Speedway, the road course event. He's losing a lot of spots now. 
Here comes Ding Drinker again, right? Yep. Yep, there's the 44. Sebastian Torres, he is way behind. He's about a whole turn away. Ding Drinker drives back down low to block. And Ding Drinker will lead a lap. Nine laps completed. Ten to go. Here comes the two of Richard Torres. Sponsored by Miller Lite. Miller High Life, I mean. Or his Centaur has moved back up as well. So is the 99. DJ Curtis. Up, oh, you left the bottom open. Here it comes. Who's that? The 67 of Robert Ponder. Harrison Ponder is right behind the 50 of Fitzwater. Well, not anymore. Robert Ponder will lead a lap. Robert has never won in this league. But he's leading the field at Talladega. So that's a good momentum boost for him. I can't believe they've gone this long without a caution. And the AI strength and all that stuff is up to 110%. They're supposed to be wrecking. This is incredible. Noah Carr is in second. He needs to get around the 10 and lead. Oh, he blocks Mike Pearson. Oh, I don't think that's going to work. Nope, he's going to have no help. The 30 of Mike Pearson will lead a lap. Under him comes the 45 of Ash Curtis. Who won at Milwaukee Mile. Looking for his second win of the season. Behind him is the 27 of Jesse Turner who won the first race at A Speedway. Everyone in the uh, pack can win. You just got to place your uh, car at the right time. And you got to go for it. Jesse Turner in second. Started the season off with a win. Thought this season would be good, but it's only it's only win this season. Not really been able to be consistent enough to, you know, get higher finishing positions, but as you can say, he had a win this season. The 41, Colin Dryberg, however, has not scored a win in the unsponsored 41 car. No wins. He won a lot of truck races in the Classic Truck Series, and we got a random lag there. Has been struggling in the ASA car. Still trying to get that first win in this series. 22, Sam Curtis. Up under him is the 25 of John Ard. Still looking for his first win. John Ard will lead that lap. I hate when it does random lags like that. It ruins the quality of this race. Here comes the 21 of Ibola Wonderly. Ibola has never won in her whole career. Gabriel Wonderly has, I think, one win in the trucks, I want to say. But I'm not too sure. But anyway, the 21 leads. Was the point standings leader for like one or two races and then it all fell off. Oh, I believe we got a caution. Yes, we do. I don't know why. Evil Warnerly will lead them to the caution flag. There it is. What, we got debris on the track or something? I have no idea. Well, the first caution is out, and I hope that they're not in the race. Let's see what brought out the caution. Okay, here's the cause of the caution. Uh, there is no caution. There is there is no wreck. Nothing was going on. Because, look, there's the lights. Oh, we want it. Watch the lights. Right there. They come on. And look. There is nothing happening. There's no wreck. No one's in the wall. I, 
I guess it's a debris caution NASCAR. I mean, see, no, no one's in the well. There's a 27 in the wall. Could that be the caution? Let's see. He scrapes the wall, but that's it. Is that the ca is that the cause of the caution, really? Let's see. There's the lights. Turner's already in the wall. I don't... Do we count this as a debris caution, people, or what? Because there's no... What, did the 25... What, did the year 25... Did, he, did NASCAR 2015 come in here or something to precaution? I I don't get this. The caution is out for no wreck, no one blown up. I guess it said to precaution. Take it back to the restart now. We are going to have a one lap shootout. And there are some weird things going on right now. Uh, Jesse Turner... And Joseph Curtis are both one lap down. The one of great uh, of Grayson Ace Vidu uh, blew an engine, and he's last. Abby Collins broke a camshaft. She's out, of course. And we got the 71, Rosa De Silva, on the bottom lane. I don't, I don't know what the heck's going on. This caution is messed up. The 21 of Ebola One Early is your race leader. Second is Oya Centaur. Third is Keenan Bush. Fourth is Chris Bush. Fifth is Harrison Ponder. Sixth is DJ Curtis. Seventh is Michael Cates. Eighth is Gabriel Wanderley. Ninth is Zachary Fitzwater. And tenth is Michael Belushi. We are only going to have a one lap shootout. They're going to get the green and the white. They're going to do one lap. And then we're going to get the checkered. Pays cars in for the final time. Can the 21 hold off the field for her first career win? There's the restart zone right there. There's the green. Kim Bush goes high with Chris Bush. Are they going to work together? The Bush family. Oh, they're going to go past Orius. Oh, Chris is going under Keenan. Chris wants that first win. That's going to allow the 21 to pull away, though. Or will it? It's 21 a sitting duck. Chris is getting help from the 75. They're gaining on her. Oh, yep, there he goes. There's Chris Bush. What can Chris Bush do now? Can he prevent Harrison Ponder from winning? Keenan is dropping back a lot. Not the four turn for the final time. Can Chris Bush hold on? He's got to block a low lane, and he does. Chris Bush scores his first win at Talladega. We actually had a green flag finish. That's impressive at Talladega. Chris Bush scores his first win. Here we race results. Chris Bush scores a very close win over Harrison Ponder. Third is Gabriel Wonderly. Fourth is Michael Belushi. Fifth is Ebola Wonderly. She lost four spots in the last lap. Sixth is John Art. Seventh is DJ Curtis. Eighth is Michael Cates. Ninth is Richard Torres. And tenth is Holden Glove. Keenan Bush fell all the way back to 13th on the last lap. The rest of the race results. We had 29 drivers finish the race on the lead lap. We had two a lap down. Very weird last caution. Victory lane time with Chris Bush. Here are your point standings after a exciting event at Talladega. Harrison Ponder is now your new points leader. He has a 34-point lead over Chris Bush, who just won. 
his first ever race. Third is Noah Cars, who lost two spots. He is now 81 points back. Fourth is John Art, 115 points back. And fifth is Kaka White Lion, 135 points back. With two races to go, we have now 11 drivers who can now win the championship. So, that's it for Talladega. We will see you at the 19th race of the season.